Hi, welcome to PW Holding, authorized partner for Sage Business Cloud Accounting with Sage Asia. Company detail. Company, change company settings, company details. You can enter company details in company details section. Enter company name, telephone, fax, mobile, contact name, postal address and physical address. These details will display in documents such as invoice, quotation, purchase order, credit note, receipt, etc. Email Use this email for communication. When you are sending emails, this email address will display in customers or suppliers inbox as from address. Use no reply at accounting.sage1.my. If you select this option, no reply at accounting.sage1.my will show as from address in all communication emails. If you enter an email address in CC and tick on always CC this email address, a copy of all communication email sent to CC address. Additional company information. Statutory information. You can enter your company tax numbers, registered name, company registration number, tax office, and select entity type. Additional company information. You can enter city, state, and country. Major industry codes. Different countries has different industry codes. This can be referred to your government authority. Major industry code is optional. If you want, you can keep it blank. Customer Zone Customer Zone is a special feature in Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Customer Zone allow your customers to view customer statement online by clicking a link in their email. This gives your customers the most up-to-date information, including their account history. Setting up the customer zone. Company, change company settings, customer zone. Check the enable your accounting customer zone checkbox. Invoices only. Your customers will be able to view their invoices online. Your customers can print their invoices. Invoices and account history. Your customers will be able to view their invoices online, print their invoices. Your customers will also be able to check their account history. Quotations, sales orders, credit notes, and payments. Setting up your customer settings. You will have to set up your customers so that they would be able to view online. To access this function, go to customers list. To allow the customer to view invoices online, Check the Allow this customer to view on invoices online checkbox. General settings. Financial settings. You can create financial years from this screen by clicking green plus button. You can change financial year start date and end date. If your financial year is 1st of January to 31st of December, you can enter financial year start as 
1st of January and financial year end as 31st of December. Tick on current financial year. Note, Search Business Cloud Accounting does not require any year-end process. Only thing is you need to create a new financial year. When your financial year ends, system will pop up an alert to create a new financial year. By accepting to create a new financial year, you can create a new financial year or from general settings, you can create a new financial year. Lockdown date. If you activate a lockdown date, no transactions can be processed or edited before that date. You can minimize data entry errors by activating lockdown date. After your year end, you can set last financial year end date as lockdown date. Then users cannot process backdated transactions. Rounding. You can set accounting to round customer documents values. To do this, choose the type of rounding you wish to use and then specify the amount to round to. Regional settings. Quantity decimal places. From quantity decimal places, you can increase or decrease quantity decimal places in transaction documents and reports. Value decimal places. From value decimal places, you can increase or decrease number of value decimal places in transaction documents and reports. Hours decimal places. From hours decimal places, you can increase or decrease number of decimal places of hours in transactions documents and reports. Currency symbol. You can enter preferred symbol which should display in documents and reports. For example, in Sri Lanka, you can use rupees or LKR. Date format. You can select preferred date format. Customer and supplier settings. By ticking or unticking, you can activate or deactivate following attributes. If you activate, warn when duplicate customer reference used on customer invoices, system will alert for duplicate references. If you activate, Warn when duplicate supply invoice number used on supplier invoices, system will alert for duplicate supplier invoice numbers. If you activate, display inactive customers for selection when processing system will display inactive customers when processing transaction. If you deactivate, system will not display inactive customers for invoicing. If you activate display inactive customers for selection on reports, system will display inactive customers in report generation. If you deactivate, system will not display inactive customers in reports. If you activate display inactive suppliers for selection when processing, system will display inactive suppliers when processing transactions. If you deactivate, system will not display inactive suppliers for transactions. If you activate display inactive suppliers for selection on reports, system will display inactive suppliers in report generation. If you deactivate, system will not display inactive suppliers in reports. If you activate, Use inclusive processing on customer or supplier document by default. System will use inclusive amounts when processing transactions. If you activate, use account as default document line type selection. System will display account as type when processing transactions. Item settings. 
Warm when item quantities fall below zero. If you tick this, system will display an alert when item quantity fall below zero. Do not allow item quantities below zero. If you tick this, system will not allow to process customer invoices when item quantities below zero. Note, you can't activate both two at once. You can activate only one option. Warn when item cost is zero. If you tick this system will display an alert when item cost is zero. Warn when item selling price is below cost. If you tick this, system will display an alert when selling price is below an item cost. Display inactive items for selection on document line. If you tick on this, inactive items also display for invoicing. If you are not invoice deactive or discontinue, items untick this. Display inactive items for selection on reports. If you tick on this, inactive items also display in the report. If you want to display inactive items in the report, you can tick on this. If you want to exclude inactive items from the report, untick on this. Sales orders reserve item quantities. If you active this, item quantities in sales orders will be reserved. If you enter sales orders, those items cannot sell for other customers. Display inactive item bundles for selection on document lines. If you tick on this, inactive item bundles also display for invoicing. If you are not invoice deactive or discontinue items, untick this. Time tracking setting. Display inactive projects for selection on document lines. If you tick this, inactive projects will display in invoice. Timesheet lockdown date. Setting a lockdown date means that no timesheets can be processed or edited with the date up to and including this date. Outstanding balances. Customer and supplier aging can work monthly or based on the number of days from the date of the invoice. Aging is found on the day's outstanding reports, statements and the day's outstanding graph on the dashboard. If you tick on monthly, display unpaid invoices outstanding by calendar month. For example, if you invoice in 1st of April, after 30th April, outstanding will display in the reports. If you untick, outstanding will calculate on actual days. Run aging based on. If you select due date, aging will be based on invoice date plus credit period. If you select invoice date, AG will be based on invoice date only. Personal information. Choose how many years you would like to retain personal information. If Inland Revenue specify that accounting records needs to be retained for 5 years, you can select 5 years in retention period. Tax settings. From tax setting, you can create tax rates. Go to company, change company settings, tax settings. If your company does not register for VAT, select no tax. If you are VAT registered company, select invoice based GST. Enter VAT registered number. 
Enter last tax period end date. Enter tax submission date. Enter tax period frequency. If you are paid VAT monthly, enter 1. If you are paid VAT quarterly, enter 3. You can add tax rates by clicking green plus button. Enter tax name. Enter tax code. You can set mostly used tax rate as default. By clicking red minus button, you can remove tax rates. Click Save button for Save Tax Rates. Save. After creating tax rates, you can link to the customer, supplier, items, and GL accounts. Link tax rates to customer. Go to Customers, List, List of Customers, Open the Customer. Enter customer tax number. Select customer tax rate. Link tax rates to supplier. Go to suppliers, list, list of suppliers. Open the supplier. Enter supplier tax number. Select supplier tax rate. Save. Link tax rates to items. Go to items, lists, list of items. Open the item. Select tax rate for sales. Select tax rate for purchases. Save. Note. If you have not set a tax rate for customer, when you are invoicing item tax rate will apply for the invoice. If you have not set a tax rate for supplier, when you are entering supplier invoice item, purchase tax rate will apply for the invoice. Link tax rates to GL accounts. Go to accounts, list, list of account, open account, select the tax rate, save. Tax reports, reports, tax, weave report. You can weave output, input tax report in detailed and summary report. And tax payable or refundable. This report you can export to PDF, Excel or CSV. Also print or email. After tax report submission, you can close the tax period. Note, after close the tax period, you cannot edit the tax invoices. If you want to edit the close period tax invoices, first open the tax period, then edit the tax invoice. Tax payment. You can enter tax payment from bank transactions. Go to Banking, Transactions, Banking. Select the bank account. Enter date, payee and description. Select type from tax. Select tax period. Enter reference and payment amount. Save. Documents and Statements Statement Messages When you print customer statements, each statement shows the customer's outstanding balances. You can also include a message on the statement depending on the customer's overdue status. This message prints when the customer's oldest balance is Document Numbers You can set document numbers from here. Current document number will display under current document number. If you want to change the document number, you can set under new document number. From next transaction, new document number will allocate to the document.
Document description. You can set up a name to specify what will print on each document. The original name prints the first time you print the document. The copy name will be used if you reprint the document. Customer document messages. You can enter a default message that prints on each type of customer document. This message can be changed while processing. Supplier document messages. You can enter a default message that print on each type of supplier document. This message can be changed while processing. Invoices and statement. You can select a default document layout. You can set a default document layout while creating customer or supplier and can be changed while processing. Branding. You can display your company logo in your system documents such as invoice, quotation, receipt, purchase order, etc. Set company logo. Company. Change company settings. Branding. Click on the choose file button to search for your logo. You can also choose whether to include your logo on emails and the customer zone. Click on the preview button to view your logo on an invoice. User defined fields. You can create additional fields to enter additional details of customer, supplier, item, asset and document and transaction. Customer user defined fields. You can create three text values, three numeric values, three yes or no values and three date values for customers. Supplier user defined fields. You can create three text values, three numeric values, three yes or no values, and three date values for suppliers. Item user defined fields. You can create three text values, three numeric values, three yes or no values, and three date values for items. Asset user defined fields. You can create three text values, three numeric values, three yes or no values, and three date values for asset. Document user defined fields. You can create three text fields and three date fields for customer quotation. You can create three text fields and three date fields. For supplier purchase order, you can create three text fields and three date fields for customer sales order. You can create three text fields and three date fields for supply invoice. You can create three text fields and three date fields for customer tax invoice. You can create three text fields and three date fields for supplier return. You can create three text fields and three date fields for customer credit note. Email signatures. The email signatures tab allows you to create different email signatures for documents that you will email from Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Company, change company settings, email signatures, add signature. Enter name for email signature. Select type. You can design email signature by clicking insert placeholder. Save.
You can design email signatures for quotation, invoices, credit note, recurring invoice, customer statement, and sales order. Multi currency. Multi currency is an add on module which allows companies to price any goods or services in foreign currencies. For example, United States dollar or British pound, etc. Setting up multi currency. Companies must have multi currency enabled under company settings in order to use this functionality. To activate multi currency, select company, change company settings, select multi currency tab. Select the enable multi currency checkbox to activate multi currency. You are also required to select your home currency in the select your home currency drop down menu. Click on Save button to activate multi currency. Setting up other currencies. Once you have activated multi currency and selected your home currency, you can then create or set up other currencies. Click on the Add Currency button to create a new currency. Select the currency that you wish to add and click. On the add button. Click on the save button to save your changes. Note you cannot change your home currency after you have processed transactions in foreign currencies. Editing a currency. You are able to change the exchange rate for a currency by clicking on the edit link next to the currency. If you want to add your own customized exchange rate, select the new custom exchange rate option. Enter the dates that you want Sage Business Cloud Accounting to use for the customized exchange rate and enter the new exchange rate. Click on the update button to save the custom exchange rate. Enabling multi currency on master files. The following master files will have a multi currency option customers, suppliers, bank accounts. Once a master file has been assigned, a currency and has activity you will be unable to change. Setting up multi currency in a customer. Your customers have to be linked to a foreign currency. Otherwise, you will not be able to trade correctly in the system. To create a multi currency customer, select customers, add a customer. Select the currency for the customer. After currency is selected, the other field will automatically change to the selected currency. The exchange rate on your opening balance date will be used to convert your opening balance into home currency. Setting up multi currency in a supplier. Your suppliers have to be linked to the foreign currencies. Otherwise, you will not be able to trade correctly in the system. To create a multi currency supplier, select supplier, add a supplier. Select the currency for the supplier. After currency is selected, the other fields will automatically change to the selected currency. The exchange rate on your opening balance date will be used to convert your opening balance into home currency. Setting up multi currency in a bank account. If your company trades with a foreign bank account, 
you need to create foreign bank account. To create a multi-currency bank account, select banking, add a bank or credit card. In the currency field, select the currency that the bank account must be processed in. Processing multi-currency on documents. You will process as normal in Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Select the foreign customer or supplier. You will notice that an extra field will be displayed on the processing document. When processing in the lines, there is a home currency column displaying the amount processed in your home currency. The total home field will also display the document total in home currency. Other important information. When a foreign currency customer or supplier is selected, then the multi-currency fields will become available. These should not display for home customers and suppliers. The customer or supplier balance and credit limit will display the correct currency symbol. Item selling prices and item cost will be converted into foreign currency on the documents using the exchange rate in effect on the document. Item average cost and last cost will be updated with the converted home currency value of the item on the document. Multi-currency reporting. Financial reports and most other accounting reports have the foreign currency ability where you can convert the total amount into home currency. Most of the reports will pull through multi-currency for your specific foreign customers or suppliers. Customers. Create a new customer. Customers. Add a customer. Enter customer name. If you have customer category or group, you can enter customer category. Customer category used for reporting purposes. For an example, if you want to analyze your retail customers and wholesale customer sales, you can create retail customer category and wholesale customer categories. Opening balance. If you are implementing the system for a new company, there is no opening balance. If it is an old company, you can enter customer balance as at system start date, if customer balance available. Opening balance as set. This is system start date. Auto allocate receipts to oldest invoice. If you activate this option, System will automatically allocate receipts to the oldest invoices. If you want to allocate a receipt to particular invoice, don't activate this option. We will discuss receipt allocation in detail in Allocate Receipt section under Customer Transactions. Active some customers may discontinue transactions with your company. In that case, you can inactive the customer. If you inactivated a customer, you have the option to select inactive customers display in the reports. This option will discuss under company settings. Credit limit. If your company provides credit limit to a customer, you can enter the credit limit. When you are invoicing, if a customer exceeds the credit limit, system will generate an alert. Tax reference. If your customer tax registered customer, you can enter customer tax number. Sales rep. If your company assign a sales rep to a customer, you can select the sales rep. If you select a sales rep, a signed sales rep will display when you are invoicing to the customer. Customer details.
postal address enter customer postal address delivery address if customer has different address for delivery you can enter delivery address you can link the google map link to customer address contact details enter customer contact person name email telephone mobile fax web address if available if you enter customer email you can directly email customer quotation invoices receipts to the customer allow this customer to view invoices if you activate this option your customers can view their invoices receipts outstanding online default settings statement distribution if you select email you can distribute customer statements via email if you don't enter an email under email please select print as statement distribution default discount if you set an default discount for a customer when you invoice into that customer automatically discount will calculate in the invoice if you want you can change the discount in the invoice processing time default price list if your company charge different selling prices for different customers you can maintain different price list in the system for an example if you are selling a product at 1000 rupees for your wholesale customers and 1100 for your retail customers in that case you can maintain wholesale price list and retail price list if you set a price list to a customer that price list prices will display when invoicing to that customer default tax type if your company charge tax you can select the relevant tax type to the customer due date for payment you can enter the customer credit period currency if you activated multi currency module you can select customer currency if you select different currency you can invoice customers currency foreign currency value automatically convert to home currency in financial statement if you have foreign customers you can generate customer reports in home currency and foreign currencies we will discuss additional settings in customer additional settings customer module video sales rep search business cloud accounting allows you to analyze sales by sales reps their use is optional users can enter sales reps on each sales document once you decide to use them at a sales rep customers list list of sales reps Click on the Add Sales Rep button to create a new sales rep. Enter the details of the sales rep and click on the Save button. Allocating a sales rep to a customer. Sage Business Cloud Accounting allows you to allocate a sales rep to a customer master file. To access this feature click on customers list list of customers option edit the customer that you want to link a sales rep to select the sales rep from the sales rep drop down menu processing with sales reps Web processing any customer documents 
you have the option to select a sales rep that belongs to a customer or assisted the customer from the sales rep drop down menu. If there is a sales rep allocated to a customer, you have the option to change it on the invoice if another sales rep assisted the customer. Sales rep reports. Sales by sales rep. This report analyzes all the sales that were made by the sales rep. Customer categories. You are able to create customer categories for your customers. You can use categories to group your customers for reporting purposes, since customer reports can be printed per category. This can be useful for tracking sales in a particular area to a particular group of customers or to track sales per sales agent. You do not have to use customer categories if you do not want to. You can start and stop using categories at any time. However, you cannot delete a category if it has a customer link to it. To access this function, select Customers, Lists, Customer Categories. If you want to create a new category, click on the Add Category button. Enter the name of the category. Save. Search Business Cloud Accounting allows you to import customer categories in your company. Quotations. Quotations are optional. A quotation is an offer to sell one or more items to a customer at the price specified. When you produce a quotation, you specify a date on which the quotation expires. The customer can accept the quotation up to that date. After that date, it is your choice whether to sell to the customer at the quotation price. Note that a quotation is not a sale. When you produce a quotation, the system does not update any quantity or sales statistics because there is no sale yet. Add a new quotation. Customers, Transactions, Customer Quote. Click on Add Quote button to create a new quotation. Select the customer. Customer outstanding will display in the balance. Document number is quotation number. This will generate automatically from the system. You can set document numbers from documents and statements. Company, change company settings, documents and statements, document numbers. This will discuss in detail under document and statements company module video. Customer Rep If your customer requests quotation and if there is any request number, you can enter that reference number. Customer Rep is optional. If you want, you can keep it blank. Layout This is quotation print document. If you want, you can change the default quotation layout. Sales Rep You can select the sales rep. Expiry date Expiry date is quotation expiry date. Discount If you are giving discount, you can enter discount percentage. This discount percentage apply for all items in the quotation. If you want to give different discount rates for different items, use line discount percentage. Here you can enter discount percentage or discount amount. 
discount is optional. Therefore, if you are not giving discount, keep it zero. Use inclusive amount. If you are a tax registered company, you need to apply taxes in the quotation. If you tick on use inclusive amounts, price will display with taxes. If you untick, price will display without taxes. Type. If you select item, you can select selling items. If you select account, you can select GL account. If you select time, you can select time. This is an add-on module. This will discuss in detail under time tracking. If you select bundle, you can select bundle items. Item bundles allows you to group multiple items into a single code. When you code, you enter the item type bundle and the bundle code. The system brings each individual item into the quotation. We will discuss item bundles in detail under item bundles item module. Select the item. Enter quantity. System will calculate total. If you need to assign a project, you can select the project. You can create projects from code screen or go to company analysis code. From analysis code screen, you can create projects, branch, cost centers, etc. Print quotation. You can print the quotation by clicking print preview button. Email quotation. You can directly email your quotation to the customer by clicking email button. If you entered customer email address when creating customer, email address will display else you can enter the customer email address. Quotation attached as PDF document. Email body will display name, amount, user, etc. If you want to change email message, go to company, change company settings, email signatures, add email signature. Create email signatures described in detail under email signature company module video. After process the quotation, your customer can view their quotation on the customer zone. If you want to save the quotation without print or email, click save button. If you click save and new, System will save the quotation and open new window for enter new quotation. Additional options. You can email or print quotation by clicking send button. Options. By clicking view code GP, you can view the gross profit of the quotation. Clicking code history. You can view the quotation history such as created or any modification for the quotation. Clicking show user defined fields, you can add additional fields to the quotation. Create user defined fields. Go to company. Change company settings. User defined fields. Documents and Transactions User Defined Fields described in detail under User Defined Fields Company Module video. You can attach documents related to the quotation by clicking Document Attachments. You can attach maximum of 5 attachments. 
each attachment should not exceed 5 MB. You can add document note by clicking document notes. If you add a document note, a notification will come to your dashboard on the action date. You can change the quotation status to accepted, declined or invoiced. If your customer accepted the quotation, you can change status to accepted and if declined the quotation, change the status to declined. If you invoice the quotation, status automatically change to invoiced. In addition to that, there are two status namely pending and expired. Pending is quotation not reached the expiry date or still customer not declined or accepted the quotation. Expired is quotation validity period expired but Customer not declined or accepted the quotation. You can customize quote list by clicking Customize Grid button. You can add these columns by ticking and remove by unticking. You can export the list by clicking CSV button. You can sort the order of the list by clicking each column heading ascending or descending. You can sort by multiple columns by clicking multiple column sorting button. You can filter the list from following headings. You can modify the court later if you are authorized to edit customer quotes. You can convert the quote into sales order or invoice or copy the quote by clicking actions and select create sales order. Create invoice or copy quote without entering again. Quotation reports. You can generate customer quote report and customer quotes by customer report from report section or from quick reports. Sales order. A sales order is raised when an initial port is approved and the transaction is underway. The sales order specifies the details about products ordered by a specific customer along with the price, quantity and terms and conditions. The user has option to reserve the items contained in a sales order to avoid selling this stock to a different customer. Add a new sales order. Customers Transactions, Customer Sales Orders, click on Add Sales Order button to create a new sales order. Select the customer. Customer Outstanding will display in the balance. Document number is Sales Order Number. This will generate automatically from the system. You can set document numbers from documents and statements. Company, change company settings, documents and statements, document numbers. You can set sales order numbers under new document number. After set the number from next sales order, system will generate the sales order number. This will discuss in detail under Document and Statements Company Module video. Customer Ref If your customer send a purchase order kind of document, you can enter that document number under Customer Ref. Customer Ref is optional. If you need, you can keep it blank. 
If you have entered a quotation relevant to this sales order, you can complete the sales order by selecting the relevant quotation without entering items. This is sales order print document. If you want, you can change the default sales order layout. Sales rep. You can select the sales rep. Delivery date. Select date for deliver the goods to the customer. Discount. If you are giving discount, you can enter discount percentage. This discount percentage apply for all items in the sales order. If you want to give different discount rates for different items, use line discount percentage. Here you can enter discount percentage or discount amount. Discount is optional. Therefore, if you are not giving discount, keep it zero. Use inclusive amount. If you are a tax registered company, you need to apply tax rates in the sales order. If you tick on use inclusive amounts, price will display with taxes. If you untick, price will display without taxes. Type. If you select item, you can select selling item. If you select account, you can select GL account. If you select time, you select time. This is an add-on module. This will discuss in detail under time tracking. If you select bundle, you can select the bundle items. Item bundles allow you to group multiple items into a single code. When you enter sales order, you enter the item type bundle and bundle code. The system brings each individual item into the sales order. We will discuss item bundles in detail under item bundles items module. Select the item, enter quantity, system will calculate total. If you need to assign a project, you can select the project. You can create projects from sales order screen or go to company analysis code. From analysis codes screen, you can create project, branch, cost center, etc. After process the sales order, items in the sales order will be reserved. Print sales order. You can print the sales order by clicking print preview button. Email sales order. You can directly email your sales order to the customer by clicking email button. If you entered customer email address when creating customer, email address will display. Else, you can enter the customer email address. Sales order attached as PDF document. Email body will display name, amount, user, etc. If you want to change email message, go to company, change company settings, email signatures, add email signature. Create email signatures described in detail under email signature company module video. After process the sales order, 
Your customer can view their sales order on the customer zone. If you want to save the sales order without print or email, click Save button. If you click Save and New System will save the sales order and open new window for enter new sales order. Additional options. You can email or print sales order by clicking send button. Options. By clicking view sales order GP, you can view the gross profit of the sales order. Clicking sales order history, you can view the sales order history such as created or any modification for the sales order. Clicking show user defined field, you can add additional fields to the sales order. Create user defined field. Go to company, change company settings, user defined fields, documents and transactions. User defined fields described in detail under user defined fields company module video. You can attach documents related to the sales order by clicking Documents Attachment. You can attach maximum of 5 attachments. Each attachment should not exceed 5 MB. You can attach documents related to the sales order by clicking Document Attachments. You can attach Maximum of 5 attachments. Each attachment should not exceed 2 MB. You can add document note by clicking document notes. If you add a document note, a notification will come to your dashboard. You can convert sales order to an invoice by clicking create invoice and copy sales order by clicking Copy sales order. You can customize your sales order list by clicking Customize Grid button. You can add these columns by ticking and remove by unticking. You can export the list by clicking CSV button. You can sort the order of the list by clicking each column heading, ascending or descending. You can sort by multiple columns by clicking multi-column sorting button. You can filter the list from following headings. You can modify the sales order later if you are authorized to edit customer sales order. You can convert the sales order into invoice or copy the sales order by clicking Actions and select Create Invoice or Copy Sales Order without entering again. Sales Order Reports you can generate customer sales orders report and customer sales orders by customer report from report section or from quick reports. Sales order reports will help you to plan your deliveries efficiently. Customer Invoice When a customer purchases from you, you process an invoice. An invoice is a document of sale. If you first produce a code for the customer, you can link the code into the invoice and print it without redoing any data entry. If not, you can enter invoice from the beginning.
at a new invoice. Customers, transaction, customer tax invoices. If you are a tax registered company, it will show as customer tax invoices. Else, it will show as customer invoice. Click on add a tax invoice button to create a new customer invoice. Select the customer. If the customer has pending quotations or sales orders, system will ask to invoice those quotations or sales orders. If you want to convert pending quotations or sales orders, select the document. If not, enter new invoice. Customer outstanding will display in the balance. Document number is invoice number. This will generate automatically from the system. You can set document numbers from documents and statements. Company, change company settings, documents and statements, document numbers. You can set customer invoice number under new document number. After set the numbers from next invoice, system will generate the invoice number. This will discuss in detail under document and statements company module video. Customer ref. If your customer sent a purchase order or any document for purchasing, you can enter that document reference number. Customer ref is optional. If you want, you can keep it blank. From quote or sales order. You can link quote or sales order if available. Layout. This is invoice print document. If you want, you can change the default invoice layout. Sales rep. You can select the sales rep or system will display default sales rep. Date is invoice generate date. Due date is payment due date for this invoice. If you are giving credit period to this customer, you can select the due date as future date. Discount. If you are giving discount, you can enter discount percentage. This discount percentage apply for all items in the invoice. If you want to give different discount rates for different items, use line discount percentage or discount amount. Discount is optional. Therefore, if you are not giving discount, keep it zero. Use inclusive amounts. If you are a tax registered company, you need to apply taxes in the invoice. If you tick on use inclusive amounts, price will display with taxes. If you untick, price will display without taxes. Type. If you select item, you can select selling items. If you select account, you can select GL account. If you select time, you can select time. This is an add-on module. This will discuss in detail under time tracking. If you select bundle, you can select bundle items. Item bundle allows you to group multiple items into a single code. When you invoice, you enter the item type bundle and the bundle code. The system brings each individual item into the invoice. We will discuss item bundles in detail under item bundles item module. Select the item. Enter quantity. 
system will calculate total. If you need to assign a project, you can select the project. You can create projects from invoice screen or go to company analysis code. From analysis codes screen, you can create projects, branch, cost centers, etc. Print invoice. You can print the invoice by clicking print preview button. Email invoice. You can directly email your invoice to the customer by clicking email button. If you enter customer email address when creating customer, email address will display Else, you can enter the customer email address. Invoice attach as PDF document. Email body will display name, amount user, etc. If you want to change email message, go to company, change company settings, email signatures, add email signature. Create email signatures described in detail under Email Signature Company Module video. After process the invoice, your customer can view the invoice on the customer zone. If you want to save the invoice without print or email, click Save button. If you click Save and New, system will save the invoice and open new window for enter new invoice. Note, after process the invoice, you cannot delete the invoice. To correct the invoice, you need to enter a customer credit note. Additional options. You can email or print invoice by clicking send button. Options. By clicking view, Invoice GP, you can view the gross profit of the invoice. Clicking Invoice History, you can view the invoice history such as created or any modification for the invoice. Clicking Show User Defined Fields, you can add additional fields to the invoice. Create User Defined Fields. Go to Company, Change Company Settings, User Defined Fields, Documents and Transactions. User defined fields described in detail under user defined fields company module video. You can attach documents related to this invoice by clicking document attachments. You can attach maximum of 5 attachments. Each attachment should not exceed 2 MB. You can add document notes by clicking document notes. If you add the document note, a notification will come to your dashboard. Anticipated payments. You can add a customer anticipated payment date. If you add an anticipated date, a notification will come to your dashboard on that date. Create recurring invoice. If you create a recurring invoice, you can schedule the invoice on regular frequency. If you set a recurring invoice, system will automatically generate the invoice and email to the customer.
Recurring invoice discuss in detail under customer recurring invoice customers module video. Create credit note. If you want to reverse a customer invoice, you can create credit note without re-entering data. Credit note and re-invoice. Create a credit note for a document and re-invoice. Create receipt. You can enter a receipt to a particular invoice from the invoice screen. Copy invoice. Copy the details on a document and paste it onto a new document. You can customize your invoice list by clicking Customize Grid button. You can add these columns by ticking and remove by unticking. You can export the list by clicking CSV button. You can sort the order of the list by clicking each column heading, ascending or descending. You can sort by multiple columns by clicking multiple column sorting button. You can filter the list from following headings. You can modify the invoice later if you are authorized to edit customer invoice. There are four status, unpaid, overdue, partially paid and paid. Unpaid is customer not paid for the invoice but within the credit period. Overdue is customer not paid for the invoice and exceed the credit period. Partially paid is customer paid only part amount of the invoice. Paid is customer paid for the invoice. From actions you can preview, print, email, create receipt, create credit note, copy invoice, print delivery note without opening the invoice. Invoice reports. You can generate customer invoice report from report section or from quick reports. Recurring invoices. Search Business Cloud Accounting allows you to create an invoice for a specific customer that needs to be repeated for a specific period or time. This process is called recurring invoices, whereby you create an invoice that needs to repeat every day or every month or every year on a specific date or time for a specific customer. This process will repeat until the end date has been reached. Customers, transactions, Customer Recurring Invoices Add Recurring Invoice Complete the screen with the following information. Select the customer, recurring invoice number generate from the system. Select the sales rep. If customer has a reference number, enter the reference number. If discount applies to the customer transaction, Enter a discount percentage in the discount percentage field. Ensure that the active checkbox is checked. If it is not, the system will not create any new invoices from this recurring invoice. Specify the recurring invoice details in the recurring invoice setup section. The recurring invoice is reliant on the information specified in this section. Ensure that you specify the following. Start date of recurring invoice. Frequency of the recurring invoice, be it daily, weekly, monthly, annually and so on. End date, which will indicate when the system must stop creating invoices from this recurring invoice. 
Due date for payment which the system uses to calculate the payment due date on each invoice created from this recurring invoice. Email address. If the invoices are to be sent automatically, click email signature to enter text. That will be included in the body of the sent email. Check the CC checkbox if you want to send a copy of the invoice to yourself or another recipient. Search Business Cloud Accounting automatically populates your registered company email address in this field. Select whether you want the system to save the recurring invoice as a draft or to process and send the new invoice to the customer automatically. You then enter or select one of the multiple delivery addresses. Check the Use Inclusive Amount checkbox to enter inclusive prices and uncheck the checkbox to enter exclusive prices in the Lines section. Enter the invoice information in the Lines by selecting the items or accounts that need to be invoiced. Click on Save or Save and New to update the system with this information and or create a new recurring invoice. You can add additional user-defined fields to your recurring invoice. To do so, click on the Options button at the top of the screen followed by the Show User Defined Fields option. View Draft Invoices If you want to view your draft invoices, click on the View Draft Invoices button. Credit Note You will process a customer credit note when the customer returns items for a refund or replacement. Click on Customers, Transactions, Customer Credit Notes. Click on Add Credit Note button. Select the customer. Enter Customer Reference. If you are entering the credit note to an invoice, you can select the invoice from drop-down. Enter Credit Note Date. If you want, you can change the item or quantity. You can save, print or email the credit note. From here also you can email or print the invoice. Options Under Options, you can enter any additional details. Attach Documents Add Document Note to the credit note and re-invoice or copy credit note. You can create credit note by linking an invoice. Go to invoice list. Select the invoice. Click actions. Create credit note. Customer Receipt If a customer pays for purchase, you will process a customer receipt as a proof of payment. Add a receipt. Method 1. Go to Customers, Transactions, Customer Receipts. Click on Add Receipt button. Select Customer Name. After you select the customer, System will display outstanding invoices of this customer. System will show the customer outstanding amount in balance. Document number is receipt number. This will generate automatically from the system. 
Document number 17 discuss in detail under document and statements company module video. Enter the receipt amount. Select invoices until you fully match the receipt amount. Note, if you have activated the auto allocate receipts oldest invoice option, system will automatically allocate invoices to the receipt. Reference. In reference, you can enter any reference to the receipt such as check number, bank transfer number, etc. Select the deposit bank account. Enter description which you need to print in the receipt. You can enter any note in comments. Select receipt date. Select payment method cash, check, credit card, or EFT, electronic fund transfer. In the line section, screen will display invoice number, invoice date, invoice total, amount due, amount received. If you give a discount such as early settlement discount, you can enter here. System will show unallocated balance if available. Without entering receipt amount, you can tick on paid invoice. Then, system will pick the receipt amount. If your customer settle one or more invoices from one receipt, you can select all settled invoices. Then, system Calculate the total receipt amount. At the bottom of the screen, you can select one of four processing options. First process. To save the document and return to the screen that you were in. Second, process and new. To save the document and clear the field so that you can enter another receipt. Third, process and print to save and print the document. Fourth, process and email to save the document and email a PDF copy to the customer. Add a receipt. Method 2. Go to Customers. Transactions, Customer Tax Invoices, select the invoice which customer has paid. Click on Actions, select Create Receipt. Receipt screen has filled with customer name, receipt amount and tick on Paid Invoice. You can enter the reference, bank account, description and payment method. After enter required details, process the receipt. You can customize receipt list by clicking customize grid button. Add these columns by ticking and remove by unticking. You can export receipt list by clicking CSV button. You can sort the order of the list by clicking each column heading, ascending or descending. You can sort by multiple columns by clicking multi-column sorting button. You can filter the list from following headings. Receipt Report you can generate customer receipt report from customer transaction reports. Select customer receipt from transaction type. View report. Note, if you are entering foreign customer receipt, system will display the foreign currency amount, home currency amount and exchange rate. If you need, you can change the exchange rate according to your bank exchange rate.
you can maintain post-dated checks in the system. We will discuss post-dated checks received in detail under post-dated checks customer module video. Allocate receipts. You sell to customers via invoices and customers pay via receipts. You have to match each receipt to a customer invoice until you allocate receipts. The invoice will display on the customer's outstanding statement. Customers, Transactions, Allocate Receipts Select the customer. To allocate a receipt, you will click on it in the unallocated item section on the right and then drag it over the invoice on the left that you want to allocate to. You are also able to unallocate a receipt. To unallocate a receipt, click on the plus sign to the left of the invoice and then drag and drop the allocated transaction into the unallocated items area. Save. Customer Adjustments Customer adjustments are used to increase or decrease a customer balance by affecting another account. Click on the Customers, Transactions, Customer Adjustments option. Click on the Add Customer Adjustment button. Select the customer from the Customer drop-down menu. Select whether you are increasing or decreasing the customer account. Select the tax type. Select the by affecting account. Note, by affecting is the other account affected when you post a transaction. Enter a description for the adjustment in the description field. Select the date when the account is adjusted in the date calendar lookup field. In the unpaid invoices section, select the invoice that you want to adjust. An increased adjustment cannot be allocated to unpaid invoices. Select the process button to save the adjustment that was made. You also have the option to do customer adjustments using a quick entry grid. Customers, Transactions, Customer Adjustments, Select Quick Entry Grid. Enter all the customer adjustment information in the respective fields. Click on the process button to save the customer adjustment. Bad debt relief. The function of this section is transactions which relate to loan outstanding amounts allow you to claim back tax paid on overdue invoices. Customers, Transactions, Bad Debt Relief At Bad Debt Relief Select the Customer, Select Invoice, Process. Bad Debt Recovered Bad Debt Recovery is a payment received for a debt that was written off and considered uncollectible. Customers, Transactions, Bad Debt Recovered At Bad Debt Recovery Select Customer Select Invoice Process Customer Statement Run The Customer Statement Run allows you to create and distribute your customer statements. The method of distribution depends on the customer's settings. Some customers want their statements printed, emailed or both, and 
some customers do not require statements at all. When customers choose to have their statements emailed to them, ensure that they provide a valid email address and that it is entered correctly in the customer's record. To access this feature, select the Customers, Reports, Customer Statement Run option. In the Customer Filter section, select your Customer and Customer Category range for the Statement Run. Select whether you want to include active or inactive customers only or both for the statement run. Select your date range in the date range drop down menu. You have the selection to preview the report as monthly, quarterly, yearly, month to date, quarter to date, year to date. Live to date, custom to date, last month, last quarter, and last year. If you select the custom dates option, you can select the date ranges from the customer calendar lookup fields. Check the show balance brought forward checkbox. If you want to consolidate all unallocated transactions prior to the statement date range into one balance brought forward line. Check the exclude fully allocated invoices checkbox to display unpaid transactions only. Check the show detail checkbox to display invoice line item details on statements. Check the zero checkbox to exclude customers that have a zero balance. Check the negative checkbox to exclude customers with a negative balance. Check the less than checkbox to exclude customers with a balance less than a certain amount specified in the field available. Click on the next button. The following screen displays. In the statement distribution section, you will determine how to customers will receive their statements. You have Four options available. First, print all statements. Select this option if you want to print all of the customer's statements irrespective of their setting. Second, print an email as per customer setting. Select this option if you want to print an email customer statements for customers whose settings are either set to print or email or both. Third, print as per customer setting. Select this option if you want to print the customer's statements whose settings are set to print or print an email. The system will only print the statements and will not generate emailed statements. Email as per customer setting. Select this option if you want to email the customer's statements whose settings are set to email or print an email. The system will only email the statements and will not generate printed statements. When you select to email customer statements, Use the email subject and body section to enter an email subject and short message. You also have the option to select the default email signature or to select your own. The customer will receive an email displaying the subject and message entered here with their statement attached. 
check the CC checkbox to email a copy of the statements to yourself or another recipient. Sage Business Cloud Accounting automatically populates your registered company email address in this field. Click on the Next button. The following screen displays. Click on the Send Statements button to email them to the customers. Click on the Finish button. The customer statements will also be available in the customer zone. Customer Listing Report This report displays customer details. You are able to print the report in a summary form or with all of the customer details. If you drill down to the customer account, you are able to view the customer statement. You can include user-defined field in the report. You can generate the report customer-wise Active or inactive wise or customer category wise. Sales by customer report. In this report, you can see details of the documents that have been processed to a range of customers in a date range that you can select. You are able to view the report in detail or summary. You are able to drill down to documents from this report. You can select a customer, a range of customers or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers report. You can select active, inactive or both customers. You can select a category, a range of categories or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all categories. Date range. You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter and last year. You can print reports selecting by custom dates. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range sales by customer. Include credit notes. If you tick on this option, System will print sales report with deducting credit notes. If you untick, system will print the report without credit notes. Style. You can print the report in summary or detailed. If you select summary, system will print one line for one invoice. If you select detailed, System will print invoice line by report. After you print the report, you can drill down the report and 
with the invoice. Sales by Sales Rep Report This report analyzes all the sales that were made by the sales reps. You can select a sales rep, a range of sales reps, or all sales reps. If you do not select a sales rep, system will print all sales rep report. You can select active, inactive, or both sales reps. You can select sale type by items, accounts, time or all. Date range. You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, Live to date and custom to date. You print report last month, last quarter, and last year. You can print reports selecting by custom dates. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range sales by sales rep report. Style. You can print the report in summary or detailed. If you select summary, system will print each repwise summary report. If you select detailed, system will print each invoice wise report. Include credit notes. If you tick on this option, system will print sales report with deducting credit notes. If you untick, system will print the report without credit notes. Use last cost. If you tick on this option, system will use last cost for calculate total cost. If you untick this option, system will use average cost for calculate total cost. After you print the report, you can drill down the report and view the invoice. From this report, you can view each sales rep's total sold quantity, total cost, total sales, total GP amount, and GP percentage. Furthermore, you can view grand total of all sales rep's sales. Customer Balances Days Outstanding Report This report shows you how long your customer balances have been outstanding. You can also select to print the report for specific categories if you are using categories. You can print the report as a date. You can select a customer, a range of customers, or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers report. You can select a category, a range of categories or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all categories. Status. You can print active, inactive or both customers outstanding. Style. You can print summary report or detailed report. If you select summary, system will display each customer's outstanding as a summary. If you select detailed, system will display each customer's invoice wise outstanding. If customer has unallocated receipts or credit notes, will display as negative values.
exclude. This option only applies to customers with unallocated transactions that have a zero balance. Customers that have been fully allocated will never appear on the day's outstanding report. If you tick on this option, customers with zero balances which invoices not allocated will not display in the report. If you untick on this option, system will display customers with zero balances which has unallocated invoices. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, system will display balances in the customer's currency. If you untick this option, system will display all customers outstanding in home currency. Customer balances days outstanding report will display customer outstanding as age analysis and total due. If you tick on use foreign currency, system will not display grand total of customer outstanding. If you untick, system will display grand total of customers outstanding. If you need, you can drill down the report and view the document. Customer Statements Report You use this option to send statements to customers indicating how much they owe you. You are able to print the reports on paper to mail to your customers or you can select to email the statements. You can also specify a category to print for and whether to print the statements in detail, showing each invoice line or not. In the Customer Filter section, select your Customer and Customer Category range for the statement. Select whether you want to include active or inactive customers only or both for the Customer Statement Report. Report Options Date Range Select your date range in the Date Range drop-down menu. You have the selection to review the report as monthly, quarterly, yearly, month to date, custom to date, last month, last quarter, and last year. If you select the Custom Dates option, you can select the date ranges from the calendar lookup field. Check the show balance brought forward checkbox if you want to consolidate all unallocated transactions prior to the statement date range into one balance brought forward line. Check the Exclude Fully Allocated Invoices checkbox to display unpaid transactions only. Check the Show Details checkbox to exclude customers that have a zero balance. Check the Negative checkbox to exclude customers with a negative balance. Check the Less Than checkbox to exclude customers with a balance Less than a certain amount, specify the amount in the field available. After you print the report, you can drill down the report and view the invoice. Note, this report should not be used to distribute statements to customers. Please use the customer statement run to distribute statements. Customer Transaction Report This report shows all of the transactions that you have processed to customer accounts. 
you can select to print only active customers and customers in specific categories. Date range. You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter and last year. You can print report selecting by custom dates. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range sales by customer. You can select a customer, a range of customers or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers report. You can select a category, a range of categories, or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all categories. Status You can print active, inactive, or both customers' transaction report. Transaction type You can print credit note, customer adjustment, Customer opening balance, customer receipt, customer write off, tax invoice transaction. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, system will display transactions in the customer's currency. If you untick on this option, system will display all customer's transaction in home currency. Customer transaction report will display each customer transactions with amount, closing balance and movement for the period. If you tick on use foreign currency, system will not display grand total of customer closing balance. If you untick, system will display grand total of customers closing balance. After you print the report, you can drill down the report and view the customer document. Customer Quotes Report this is a list of quotes with the quote status and sales rep. Date range. You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter and last year. You can print report selecting by custom date. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range customer quotes. You can select a customer, a range of customers or all customers. If you don't select a customer, System will print all customers' report. You can select a customer category, a range of categories, or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all customer categories. Status You can select active, inactive, or both customers. Document status you can print accepted quotes, declined quotes, pending quotes, expired quotes, invoiced quotes, and all quotes. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, system will display customer quotes in customer's currency. If you untick this option, 
system will display all customer codes in home currency. Customer codes report will display customer codes including port date, port expiry date, port number, customer reference, customer name, port exclusive amount, tax, port total, sales rep, and status. If you tick on use foreign currency, system will not display grand total of quotes. If you untick, system will display grand total of customer quotes. If you need, you can drill down the report and view the customer quote. Customer Quotes by Customer This report analyzes your quotes by customer. You can select a customer, a range of customers, or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers' report. You can select an active customer, inactive, or both customers. You can select a customer category, a range of categories, or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all customer categories. Date range. You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter, and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date, and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter, and last year. You can print reports selecting by custom dates. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, System will print all date range customer quotes. Style You can print report in summary or detailed. If you select summary, system will print quotation wise. If you select detailed, system will print each line wise quotation report. Status you can print accepted quotations, declined quotations, pending quotations, expired quotations, invoiced quotations, and all status quotations. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, system will display quotations in the customer's currency. If you untick this option, System will display all customers' quotations in home currency. Customer quotes by customer report will display quotation date, quotation number, quotation status, quantity, and quotation total. If you tick on use foreign currency, system will not display grand total of customer quotation. If you untick, System will display grand total of all customers' quotation, grand total. Customer Sales Orders This is a list of sales orders with the sales order status and sales rep. Date Range you can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter and last year.
you can print reports selecting by custom dates. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range customer sales orders. You can select a customer, a range of customers or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers report. You can select a customer category, a range of categories or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all customer categories. Status. You can select active, inactive or both customers. Document status. You can print pending sales orders, invoiced sales orders and all sales orders. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, system will display customer sales orders in customer's currency. If you untick this option, system will display all customer sales orders in home currency. Customer sales order report will display customer sales order date, sales order delivery date, sales order number, customer reference, customer name, sales order exclusive amount, sales order tax amount, sales order total, sales rep, and sales order status. If you tick on use foreign currency, system will not display grand total of sales orders. If you untick, system will display grand total of customer sales order. If you need, you can drill down the report and view the customer sales order. Customer Sales Orders by Customer This report analyzes your sales orders by customers. Date Range you can generate report by monthly, quarterly and yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter and last year. You can print reports selecting by custom dates. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range customer sales orders. You can select a customer, a range of customer or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers report. You can select a customer category, a range of categories, or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all customer categories. You can select active, inactive, or both customers. Style. You can print report in summary or detailed. If you select summary, System will print sales order wise report. If you select detailed, system will print each line wise sales order report. Document status. You can print pending sales orders, invoice sales orders or all sales orders. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, System will display sales orders in the customer's currency. If you untick this option, system will display all customer's sales orders in home currency. Customer sales orders by customer report will display sales order date, 
sales order number, sales order status, quantity, and sales order total. Customer Invoices Report This report lists all the invoices with the exclusive tax and inclusive amounts sent to customers. Date Range You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date, and custom to date. You can print last month, last quarter, and last year. You can print report selecting by custom dates. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range customer invoices. You can select a customer, a range of customers, or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers report. You can select a customer category, a range of categories, or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all customer categories. Status You can print active, inactive or both customers. Credit notes If you tick on this option, system will display the report with credit notes. If you untick on this option, System will display without credit notes. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, system will display customer invoices in the customer's currency. If you untick this option, system will display all customer invoices in home currency. Customer invoices report will display invoice date, Invoice number, customer reference, customer name, sales rep, invoice due date, anticipated payment, exclusive amount of the invoice, tax amount of the invoice, invoice total, and invoice outstanding. If you tick on use foreign currency, system will not display grand total of invoices. If you untick, system will display grand total of customer invoices. If you need, you can drill down the report and view the customer invoices. Customer Unallocated Receipt this report lists unallocated receipts by customer. Date range. You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter, and last year. You can print report selecting by custom date. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, system will print all date range customer unallocated receipts. You can select a customer, a range of customers, or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers' report.
You can select a customer category, a range of customer categories, or all customer categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all categories. Status. You can print active, inactive, or both customers' unallocated receipts. Include. If you tick on this, report will display unallocated credit notes and customer adjustments. If you untick on this, report will not display unallocated credit notes and customer adjustments. Use foreign currency. If you tick on this option, system will display customer unallocated receipts in customer's currency. If you untick on this option, system will display all customer unallocated receipts in home currency. Customer unallocated receipts report will display customer receipt date, receipt number, receipt amount, unallocated amount, and each customer total. If you tick on use foreign currency, system will not display grand total of customer unallocated receipts. If you untick, System will display grand total of customer unallocated receipts total. If you need, you can drill down the report and view the customer documents. Emails sent to customers. This report shows details of documents that were emailed to customers. This allows you to track and manage electronic communication to customers. You can select a customer, a range of customers, or all customers. If you don't select a customer, system will print all customers report. Active. You can select active, inactive, or both customers. You can select a customer category, a range of categories, or all categories. If you don't select a category, system will print all customer categories. Date range. You can generate report by monthly, quarterly, yearly. From right hand side drop down box, you can select month, quarter, and year. You can select month to date, quarter to date, year to date, life to date, and custom to date. You can print report last month, last quarter, and last year. You can print report selecting by custom date. Here you can select preferred date range. If you select all, System will print all date range emails sent to customers report. Emails sent to customers report will display email sent date, sent user, customer, customer email address, transaction type, and transaction number. If you need, you can drill down the report and view the customer document. For more details, please log in to www.pwholdings.lk. Thank you.